Oh, I can't believe this gem almost passed me by. How interesting. This is out of the UK uh, about 10 days ago. Dementia patients can be tracked by smart meters. So the doctors can monitor any sudden changes that indicate illness, falls, or mental decline. These things are real. I have seen shit that'll turn you white. Now they're using the I've fallen and I can't get up meme. I've fallen and I can't get up. Yep, they're using that meme to justify the monitoring of people. Oh, how lovely. So, the NIHS is to use energy smart meters to monitor dementia patients in their homes. I think you all know that I've always felt the nine most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Now, of course, folks, you know, this always starts out with the feel-good, touchy, feel-good thing. You know, they, they have to, it's going to help the dementia patients, it's going to help the you know, these people. Well, how's it going to help them? It will flag behavior which would indicate an illness, which, by the way, uh, depending on what political persuasion that you are, if you talk to some people, certain political ideology is mental illness. That is truly appalling. I can see this as a huge red flag issue. We've talked about Swan we know, uh, you know, all of the other details. I just wanted to, to, to cover this uh, one aspect of it for today. Smart meters monitor households energy use in real time, but they, you know, they do more than that. What the hell is wrong with people? So people in the UK, privacy uh, activists warn that the meters will hand suppliers a honeypot of data which could be sold on to marketing firms or fall into the hands of hackers. What the hell did you just say? Which could be sold on to marketing firms or fall into the hands of hackers. Well, it can do a lot more than that. It can be used to politically target individuals based upon their beliefs uh, or, or what have you. Just look at this um, unconstitutional anti-BDS legislation Instance. Do anything like that ever again, I'll kick your ass back to Israel. Well, if politicians in Washington, D.C. can find it uh, within their privy to completely ignore uh, any kind of constitutional limitations on the right to free speech and the right to free association and the right to boycott or not to boycott, if you so choose it, as a conservative, I'm standing on this principle. It's a principle. I don't care what side, I don't care what issue it is, it's a, it's a, it's a principle. And, and principles over party should be what... It's values today. Standards are crumbling. We, how we gauge our, our moral decisions. So, so what if you remember back to the Tea Partiers when the IRS was used to uh, to target Tea Partiers? Well, if you're a Tea Partier, wonder if uh, wonder if the smart meters will monitor and red flag your behavior. Life is putting the Prozac to the test. So, conservative, liberal, left, right, these are dangerous. Folks, there is a new world order that's being created. Out of these troubled times, our fifth objective, a new world order, can emerge. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order. It is a big idea. A new world order. Such is a world worthy of our children's future. A world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. And that's why I wanted to speak to you today about the new world taking shape around us. About the prospects.
for a new world order now within our reach. I'll be talking in some detail about the possibility of a new world order, the quest for the new world order, new world order. The new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. The present George Bush has talked time and time again about the new world order. So it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order. A new world order, a defining moment in history. New world order, new world order, new world order. Is that a new world order? True new world order. Build a new world order, new world order. I've told you before, because I love it so much, they also created the great seal of the United States. And that great seal of the United States has on it Novus Order Thecorum, a new order for the centuries, for the ages, forever. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. Creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. What it really is, is putting the American economy under international regulation. Yep. And those people who have been yelling, oh, the UN's going to take over global conspiracy government. Conspiracy theorists. They conspir they've been crazy, but now they they're right. It's just a short report. Just, uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. <sighs> Here comes the East German Stasi world.